practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, I need 250 likes. All right, y'all get this video to 250 likes. I have a surprise for y'all next week. A big surprise. Don't doubt me. If I say it's big, it's big. Okay, I'm talking Johnny Sins early 2010s big. <laughs> Pause. But anyway, shout out to the New York football giants. Now, without hearing the details, without hearing any news, like any news, we cut Golden Tate. Now, I don't know if we're doing a pre June 1 cut or we're post dating this to June 1st. Because if we're cutting him now and we're good and we're only gonna save six million a cap i'm disappointed if we're post dating this for june 1st so we can get the whole 8.5 million then i'm satisfied now i'm not sure how the cap works i'm not a thousand percent sure but i do know if we if we cut him today officially if he's officially no longer a new york football giant today we only save 6.1 million. If we cut him officially on June June 1st, it's 8.5 million. So we can get an extra 2.5 million in salary cap if we just wait till June 1st. My whole thing is I need the details. Like I need complete details as I record this video. As I talk to y'all, I'm on Twitter. I'm trying to see what's up with Adam Schefter okay so Jordan Ranning okay oh and we just released David Mayo so David Mayo's out too okay okay so according to Jordan Renan we're gonna save six million a cap oh that's stupid we should have just waited till June 1st come on man what are we doing what the fuck Oh, come on, man. Damn. All right. Oh, I'm so dis... Yeah. Okay, like I said, um, there you have it. <laughs> we cut him. He's a fish no longer a giant to today. So instead of saving $8.5 million, we're going to save $6 million. That's stupid. We could have waited two more months to cut him. Like ah, I'm disappointed in that, but at least he's gone. Okay, so that's one less headache. We got to get another receiver to replace some Giants fans. So let's all rejoice in the fact that we know we're getting a receiver. Now I know some of you Giants fans are like, well, duh, Fist. Of course we're getting a receiver. Well, I don't know that. We went the whole draft last year and didn't take one receiver. But that's neither here nor there. Golden Tate, good riddance, and get lost. When we signed Golden Tate, he was supposed to be the anti-Odell Beckham. He was supposed to be the quiet guy. He was supposed to be good for the locker room. He was supposed to be all this shit. This dude got popped for PEDs. I don't care if it was a, 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 a fertility drug, whatever. He, got, he had to do a drug suspension. <clears throat> then... The next year, he calls out freaking Daniel Jones. Oh, yeah, man. Well, <clears throat> his wife. I'm sorry, not him, but his wife. And if his wife said it, it basically came from him. His wife is on Twitter talking about some, oh, well, if Daniel Jones is just throwing my husband a ball, he can make plays. Da -da 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 -da. Like, shut up. You're Odell without the talent, bro. You sitting here throwing our quarterback under the bus. You're getting popped for PEDs. You're always hurt. You're doing nothing. Golden Tate was a waste of money, a waste of signing, and a waste of time. I wish him the best, just not on my team.
He was a waste. Bottom line, he was a waste. And then my biggest beef with Golden Tate was, bro, you're supposed to be a leader in the locker room. You're supposed to make like you're supposed to set an example for the younger receivers. But instead, you got to make a spectacle of yourself and get shamed in front of the whole team because Joe Judge don't play that. Shout out to Joe Judge for making him run the practice squad. Joe Judge demoted him to the practice squad, and I appreciate Joe Judge for doing that because that's something we never did to Odell. It's something that we didn't hold we didn't hold players accountable. My man Joe Judge stripped him of all his pride on the team. <clears throat> And made him earn his way back onto the roster after doing that BS because he thought he was getting traded. He thought he was going to get traded and Joe Judge said, no, we're not going to give him the easy way out. We ain't going to trade nothing. You're going to sit here. You're going to run the practice squad. You're going to put this little red jersey on or whatever he was on, whatever Joe Judge had him wearing. And you're going to earn your way back onto the team and you're going to shut the hell up. And we ain't here peep out of Golden Tate the rest of the damn season. Other veterans fell in line. Bradbury fell in line. Uh, Blake Martinez fell in line with the culture. Logan Ryan fell in line with the culture. But not you, Golden Tate. And we paid you just as much money to be a giant as we paid Logan Ryan and Blake Martinez and James Bradbury. People forget we cut Odell and then we overpaid Golden Tate. Golden Tate ain't buying to the culture. So I'm, I'm glad he's gone. I'm disappointed we're only going to get $6 million instead of $8 million, But that's the hey, that's the breaks. You know what I'm saying? That's the breaks. I don't give a damn what team he goes to. I don't. I don't care nothing about Golden Tate from here on out. So I don't care what his free agency options are. I don't care who what veteran team wants to. I don't care. I'm just happy he's not on the Giants anymore. You feel me? I'm very disappointed we're only saving six when we could have saved eight. I don't understand why we couldn't wait to cut him till June 1st. Somebody in the comment section make that make sense. I need to understand why we did not cut him June 1st. That's when we get the bag. It's the same thing. Let me go back to let me go back to over the cap. Let me go back to over the cap. So if we cut um what you call it, right? If we cut what you call it, Nate Soder, if we cut Nate Soder today, it's six million dollars. If we wait till June first, guess what? It's ten. We better not dare cut Nate Soder before June first. That's ten million dollars. That's an extra four million dollars. The Giants just cost themselves two million dollars. I can't be the only one who's pissed about that. That two point five million dollars could have been a cornerback. That could have been a, a, a some random tight end with potential that could take Evan Ingle spot. That two million dollars could have been a, a swing tackle. We could do a lot with two million dollars, damn it. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But it is what it is, people. We got rid of Golden Tate, Hip Hop Parade, pop some bottles. If you a girl, go ahead, bat that thing up, twerk for your boy Big Fist. It's all good. It's all love. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.